Nobody wants to do the right thing. Too many of them using the politics of careers. Mm. You know, and it's not a career. It's not something that's that's a career. Right. It shouldn't be used as a career. Right. Serve the people. Protect the people. Defend the people. Exactly. Serve, protect, and defend. Right. If you can't do that, then don't be, don't, don't run for office. Right. Stay home. Mm-hmm. We're going to the unemployment line. Right. I'm willing to retire, Sam Grace. Mm-hmm. He's up for retirement, and somebody's got to retire him. Mm-hmm. And I'm willing to fight the battle to do so. It's going to be a tough battle, but man, that's what we need. We need people who are who are bold enough to actually stop this kind of nonsense and expose what's going on and stop the corruption once and for all. Right. This is what we have right. to do. I'm not going to, you know, uh, say it's going to be an easy choice for me. I'm not going to say it's going to be an easy battle, an easy war against San Grace. San Grace has a long list of politicians. Yeah, he does. You know, officers. He has fought in a lot of offices. He has been in the campaign world eight times. Right. This is my first uh, rodeo. Right. Going up against a, a politic like Sam Rhodes. Right. He had, you know, 10 years is a long time to hold in office. Yeah, it is. And a lot of people run the him. Right. And he has walked all over. So I'm not going to sit here and beat around the foot to the people and say it's going to be easy. Right. But mm-hmm. I am willing to take that. Tonight, to fight that battle. Right. Here's 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 the thing. I want you to make sure that you do. Don't don't attack him personally. What you do is you attack him on the issues. That's what you do. That's where right. you're going to make the difference. Right there is attack him on the issues. Don't attack. Don't do personal attacks against him. No, attack him where he stands on voting, supporting Obama, supporting amnesty, deport, supporting the debt ceiling, not caring for our veterans, not caring for on uh, the city, not voting a bill to make sure that Obama is impeached. You know, this is what you. This is what you do. This is how you win the elections. This is what we told Mia Love. This is what we told also uh, with uh, people who 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 won their um, uh, uh, who who actually won in Congress too as well. And we mentioned this uh, to other uh, other career politicians who like Ted Cruz. By the way, we actually addressed this issue. That's when Ted Cruz actually said, "You know, Obamacare, as you know, you know." It, 20, 20, uh, 20,000 UPS uh, workers have lost their uh, lost their health care coverage because of Obamacare. You know, he actually said that. You, you heard him say that. And this is what we. This is one thing that we actually making sure that we we expose what is happening to America and the and these career politicians are just taking it down. They're taking our freedoms away. They are destroying the, uh, the Constitution, destroying the American dream. That's what they're doing by taking away and destroying jobs. So a great example is Wendy's, by the way. Did you know Wendy's has um, 200 stores have closed? Now Staples is under attack because Staples is also uh, they're cutting their they're cutting their workers uh, 25 uh, 25 hours a week now 25 uh, 25 hour 25 hour a week jobs instead of being forward because of Obamacare. That's another thing they're doing. What can Congress do to make sure that people can get a 40 hour a week and making sure that people who um, who want to work can work and and not and not be feared of attack because tea, I know Tea Parties uh, Tea Party members like me. Cannot find work, even though we're qualified to work. Well, first of all, is you want to take away Obamacare because, like Staples, they can't afford Obamacare. Right. So what are they going to do? They either have to close the doors, or they're going to have to uh, pay the Obamacare. Well, they can't afford it. Right. Well, so I've got a buddy that 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 closed up his restaurant business. Really? I believe he laid off uh, twenty people. Out of a restaurant. Oh, man. Out of the Obamacare. He couldn't afford it. He can't afford these insurances that Obamacare is trying to make these companies get. Mm-hmm. You know? And then again, you got people like 
Walmart. Yeah. The whole five billionaire companies. But they're paying the minimum wage. Yeah. I can you live off of that? You can't. Mm -hmm. You know? People like that need to be, need to pay their employees more money. Uh, and, and Walmart don't do 40 hours no more. They're all part-time help. That's correct. Except for management. And then, and then you got your nighttime employees that are full-time. And don't forget you're also... How in the world can you live on that? Uh, also, don't forget you got your um uh the, the 